In this video, I provide detailed solutions for a problem related to one of the topics of fluid mechanics, which is principles of fluid motion. To solve this problem, we will use Bernoulli equation, which I show on this slide. The problem comes from previous video, which is your test your knowledge fluid mechanics practice test. And this is question number nine from that test. Below, I will provide link to that video. So the question is, a long bridge with two piers, which are two meters wide each, and this piers are spaced 10 meters between the center line of each pier crosses a river. The water depth upstream of the bridge is 1.8 meters, and under the bridge, or between the piers, 1.6 meters. And I show in this figure, plain view and also side view. The flow is steady, meaning that the flow rate is constant, does not change with time. And we assume that the bed of the river is horizontal. The river banks are parallel. And also the frictional effects are negligible. And we need to determine the flow rate under the arch and also we need to determine cross-section averaged velocities upstream of the bridge and also between the piers. We start with... Let's consider two cross-sections. Cross-section 1, which is upstream of the bridge, and cross-section 2 is under the bridge. And let's consider a streamline that connects point 1 and point 2. So this is our streamline. For a streamline that connects two points, 1 and 2, as shown in this example, we can write Bernoulli equation, which says that the total head at point 1 is equal to the total head at point 2. And this is only equation is valid if frictional effects are negligible. So the total head for each point is the sum of pressure head at point 1 plus elevation, which is the distance from datum up to point 1, and plus velocity head at this cross-section 1 at point 1 should be equal to the sum of the same terms, which is pressure head at point 2, plus elevation at point 2, and plus velocity head at point 2. If we assume that the streamlines are straight and parallel, then we can say that the pressure head plus elevation is equal to the depth of the river at that point. We are considering open channel flow or the river, so the pressure head plus elevation is equal to the depth. Therefore, we can simplify Bernoulli equation and write the depth at point number one, which is upstream of the bridge, plus velocity head at point number one should be equal to the sum of the same, of the same terms, which is depth at point number two plus velocity head at point number two. Unfortunately, we don't know velocity at point number one, and we also don't know velocity at point number two. And they would be different. To solve this equation for velocities, we first need to find the flow rate. We know from the problem that the flow is steady, so the flow rate is constant. So what we can do, we can write continuity equation, which says that the flow rate is equal to the product of velocity multiplied by cross-section area. And we can write this for cross-section number one, for point number one, and for also for cross-section number two. In this case, our cross-section area, because this is open channel or river, would be equal to the depth at cross-section number one, 
multiply by the width of cross section number one. So it's B1, which is equal 10 meters, multiplied by H1, which is equal 1.8 meters. And cross section area at point number two would be equal the depth at cross section number two, multiplied by the width of the cross section at number two. Therefore, I will write this equation as follows, continuity equation. Using this, we can express velocity for each cross section as the ratio of flow rate, which is constant, divided by cross section area, or H1 multiplied by B1, or H2 multiplied by B2. Now we can substitute velocities into the Bernoulli equation. We can substitute instead of velocity u1 in power 2, we can use this expression and the same we can use this expression to substitute velocity at point or at cross section number 2. Therefore, we can write velocity u1 in power 2, we'll just use flow rate in power number 2, in, uh, in power 2 divided by cross-section area in power 2. And the same applies to point number 2, cross-section number 2. Flow rate in power 2 divided by cross-section area in power 2. From this equation, you can see that all data are given. We know the depth, we know the width for cross-section 1. We also know the depth and width at cross-section number 2. We only have one variable which is not known, which is our flow rate, and we need to determine this flow rate. So by substituting all parameters which are not known with the values given in the problem and rearranging this equation, we get the flow rate. And the flow rate in this example equals 36.05 cubic meters per second. And the flow rate is constant. So this is the flow rate under the arch or under the bridge. And the same flow rate will be upstream of the bridge. So now using the value of flow rate, which we just obtained, and also using continuity equation, we can determine velocities at cross-section number one and also at cross-section number two. So again, we are using the uh, continuity equation, and by simply rearranging this, we determine u1, which is equal 2 meters per second, and also u2, which is velocity at cross section number 2, which is 2.82 meters per second. As the flow rate is constant, you can see that velocity at cross section number two is greater than velocity at cross section number one. This implies that cross section area at cross section number two is smaller than cross section area at cross section number one. Because this product is constant. If value of velocity changes, then cross-section area also changes. And you can see cross-section area at point 1 is 18, and cross-section area at point number 2, cross-section number 2 is 12.8 uh, meters square. So that is finished, and I hope you find this video useful. If you have comments, please write your comments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.